News First Newsline with Faraz Shaukat Ali. And a jolly good morning to you. This is Newsline, live as always from the News First studios in Dawson Street in Clambo. And this morning, we've got a, a veteran politician, a lady politician from the United National Party from the Andy District. And with us this morning is Mrs. Shantani Kongage. Good morning, Mrs. Kongage. Good morning, Faraz. Absolute uh, pleasure to have you on our program. Thank you very much for coming here. Thank you very much for inviting me, uh, Faraz. It's our pleasure. Um, madam, after 11 years in the political wilderness, you've, we find the United National Party uh, almost in power, certainly as the largest party in Parliament. Uh, not with a majority, but still the largest party. Eleven years in the wilderness since uh, 6th of April 2004. Um, do you think the party has forgotten how to uh, listen to the people and no. how to govern? No, not at all. With all the experience uh, for us, I think United National Party has done a lot of development in this country. Mm -hmm. Especially in uh, governing the country, we had been having a lot of uh, experienced uh, politicians. To count you actually down the line, Mahamania uh, DS Saranaika, and then, you know, agriculture is, uh, especially in Sri Lanka, you can't uh, do anything without reminding Mahamania DS Saranaika. Mm -hmm. From there onwards, I think my age, uh, the time, I can very well remember. Dudley Senanayaka and J.R. Javadana's uh, regime that was made history in this country. Hmm. The, these, when you mention these names, uh, they actually make one's hair stand up because they are big, powerful, well-known, uh, much-respected names. So is, the, is it a case that the United National Party is uh, sort of living in reflected glory, or is there more glory to follow? I think, uh, as I mentioned you before, with all the experience, uh, we had to stay back a few years, uh, like, you know, a couple of years. Mm. And uh, now it's a time for us to perform with all the experiences mm -hmm. we had before. Uh, it's I, not ideal though, is it? Because it's a national unity government. No, this is something new and uh, good experience. I know as a grassroots politician, and I have witnessed uh, several uh, incidents. Mm. When the two parties are strong, two parties, whatever said and done, United National Party and Sri Lanka Freedom Party is the biggest two parties in this country. Mm. Time to time, both parties have, have, they have governed this country. So now we are facing something new. It's a new coalition. It's a new experience. Even for us, uh, January 8th, uh, experience. We thought it's United National Party president. And then again we got two mandates. Uh, 2015 August uh, uh, 17th. Mm. So people gave us two mandates to govern the country. But you know it was not originally like United National Party was owning the presidency and governing the country. This mm. is really a experience for our people, mm. something new. Personally, I like it, you know, because... Why? Why? Uh, why, why? What attracts you? To because this? we have witnessed several incidents, you know, the politically, the political harassment, setting up, uh, uh, the, the attacking uh, the people, United National Party people attacking the SLFP people, SLFP people attacking uh, UNP people. Like, you know, in the, the grassroots level, in the village level, in the city level, if you take it, look back, there were so many incidents took place. Did you, did you have an attack on yourself as well? Why not? Mm. Why not? I, I, in my, I, I, my, my, my personal, my business place yeah. was attacked. That is totally poli uh, the political. Right. 
but uh, I do want to you know look back and uh, the have anything uh, bad on my life you know we have to go ahead with it so you have to move forward move forward because politicians are like you know no one is going to invite you to come to politics that is on your own your capabilities your uh, interest and if you like to if you willing to uh, come to politics you can always do it and this is something you are serving your country your people uh, something very personal mm -hmm. so um, in your personal uh, life in your personal uh, political um, odyssey you've you've had attacks but you are uh, um, you put it behind you when you're going forward so you're a little bit uh, you know what it is like uh, we're the same news first has been at the receiving end of many attacks uh, bad words sticks and stones play more bombs and uh, we're still here and we intend to be here for a long time yet uh, like you so how are you faring in your um, in your work in the constituency uh, at, uh, more at the grassroots actually for us um, at the moment I'm a sitting provincial council member and I'm nursing Hever Hatter electorate. Mm. I'm happy to nurse that electorate, that was a historical electorate. First tea plant was planted in Lul Kandure. We'll see. James Taylor, Englishman. So this is James Taylor country? Of course, yes. But when you go international, you see Ceylon tea mm. and bottom you see James Taylor's name. Right. I was so happy and I was so proud but again I thought my God what have I done to my electorate mm -hmm. what um, have you done actually only two years I'm in the electorate mm -hmm. Mr. Ranil Vikramasinghe Prime Minister uh, the, the Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe mm -hmm. appointed me as the organizer before I think two years and three months now since then I have been trying to do my very best and I'm doing it I'm working very hard I'm not a minister I'm just a uh, provincial council member and uh, I'm going every Wednesday to do to do ministries to ministries mm. and uh, begging support begging uh, uh, the, the services to service my electorate uh, How many people in your lecture? How many voters? Uh, I have uh, the previous uh, election, 73 uh, voters, registered voters in my... 73,000? Yeah, 73,000 mm. uh, voters. Mm -hmm. Tamil, Sinhala, Muslim, and uh, very beautiful electorate and uh, tea plantation is there. And how is uh, unity and reconciliation in your electorate? Very good. Actually, before I uh, nursed the electorate, it was not that good. Mm -hmm. That was a, a former uh, TB Langaratna SLFP uh, leader nursed, the, nursed this electorate and he did a lot. You can't just say no. He did a lot because we need to... This is an agricultural based mm -hmm. electorate and we have to, you know, uh, do many uh, uh, development uh, in the electorate and um, let me let me come back and listen to your story uh, after this short break uh, don't go away after all this is Newsline helping you stay connected News First Newsline with Faraz Shaukutali and welcome back to Newsline and this morning we have as our guest Mrs. Shantani Kongage, uh, Provincial Councillor of the United National Party from the Kandy District. So, um, Mrs. Kongage, you, know, you were telling us about your um, uh, grassroots uh, work and so on. Um, the people at the grassroots, are they, what are they complaining about? Your government's been in power now for two and a half years. Yes, uh, not even two and a half. Yeah. Uh, not even two and a half years. So what are they complaining about? Uh, are they complaining? Not exactly, but there are certain issues that we have to fulfill. Right. You know, in Sri Lanka, 
uh, the number one, as soon as the government is changed, yeah. people think everybody can get into government jobs. Yeah. This is number one. Yeah. They don't understand this is not easy thing any government to fulfill. Yeah. There are certain numbers where, where you can fill the teaching, then the health, uh, the education education sector is uh, there and mm. certain mm, certain places government jobs you can fulfill but more than that in the country you get young youth uh, the the people those who those who are in different fields mm. they are more uh, they have more education more talent where they can go and serve in public sector, uh, the private sector, and earn much more than the the government uh, uh, mm -hmm. jobs, you know, government uh, workers' uh, salaries. Yeah. But the, their mentality is different, you know. Mm -hmm. The pension and the government job, where I don't agree, you know. If you are a talented person, you can perform yourself in different levels and different uh, uh, the field. Mm. So this is where we have to change uh, in big way. It has to be attitude change, I think, you know. And, and how, in your view, how difficult is this uh, to achieve in this attitude change? That we have to start immediately. Mm. So this is where I am very happy to have a uh, leader like Ranil Vikramasinghe, who was uh, elected uh, when he was 28 years, 1977, he got elected as uh, 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 cabinet uh, the minister, uh, youth uh, youth affairs and uh, industries, and then he was appointed as uh, education minister mm. uh, to the cabinet under yeah. uh, J.R. Javadana presidency. Now with all his experiences, yeah. at a stretch I think about 40 years in parliament, what he is talking about is after recognizing these young uh, talents, how we could use to our country development process. Mm -hmm. This is very very important. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Ranil Vikramasinghe graduated from Sri Lankan University right. and he had been working right throughout. Yeah. Whoever said whatever said, my belief is a person like that who has served to the, the nation mm. and uh, with long experience, yeah. now in political scenario he is already built up a coalition government with a, another grassroots level leader like uh, Maitripala Sirisena. Hmm. This is something new to everybody and uh, this is something uh, we are experiencing. Now Madam, uh, I want to put it to you like this. You, you say, and I hear what you say about uh, Mr. Vikramasinghe, but you know he's been uh, leader, as you say, for a long time. He's been in Parliament for well nigh 40 years now. And that's a long time. It's uh, much longer than some of these young MPs have been living. Um, but in two past elections, uh, the leader of the United National Party has not been fielded as the candidate, as the presidential candidate. and. Uh, for want of a better expression, the United National Party has, uh, shall we say, outsourced uh, the presidential candidate. Why is that then? If he's so good, why, why hasn't he been able to uh, uh, contest? You know, everybody knows what happened past 30 years. Mm. We faced a severe uh, uh, Me, LTT yeah. uh, uh, war uh, experience. Yeah. And uh, United National Party, we lost uh, several uh, leaders in our party. Indeed. This is, uh, we can't forget. Yeah. Starting from uh, uh, President Premadasa, Gamini Disanayaka, 
Ranjan Vijayaratna and uh, many uh, party uh, secretaries yeah. and strong, uh, uh, very strong uh, political leaders in front line. Mm. We lost several. And uh, then we have to face uh, time to time different uh, consequences uh, we are, which we have to, you know, tied up with uh, other uh, parties mm. and uh, uh, face uh, these political uh, issues. Right. So uh, what I believe is uh, he was trying to uh, do the best in uh, uh, governing the uh, country with other uh, party uh, support right that we have to I think uh, very seriously consider so he, he recognized that he wasn't able to be elected not he not mm, uh, the uh, he, he I think uh, he knew what is best in that that particular time right and he was trying to get other uh, political leaders support to do the best because uh, we can't forget what happened in uh, uh, previous uh, decades. Mm -hmm. So as a as an experienced political leader, yeah. he just cannot take uh, uh, very uh, light uh, uh, decisions. Yes. There, is, there is a saying that you need to lead, follow or get out of the way. Uh, that can be in other developed countries. This mm. is a country where develop uh, is taking place now. Mm. I don't think Ranil can, uh, the Ranil Vikramasinghe can uh, just get out like that because you need. Uh, uh, we have only few leaders now, so uh, that's that's a nice way of bringing in to my next question, because this is going to be what of succession? Can you imagine life? Um, the UNP without Rani Vikram Singh, who, who will the UNP have? You can't, you can't, you can't just think of without anybody. Yeah. You need everybody. Indeed. United National Party is a party uh, who has served a long time in this country. No, and but there doesn't seem to be any sort of natural no, that leader is, to fall that, back. That is because now you feel it because you have seen in the city level, some you know development has taken place, and uh, highways have come up, and uh, city decorations have come up, and many yeah, things. Yeah. And uh, now you, I mean, many people feel that you know this uh, development has taken place, mm -hmm. but it's not that. What about the the commitment now uh, we are already uh, facing? Mm -hmm. We have to pay a lot of uh, debts which we have, you know, utilized for uh, this kind of, you know, development. And uh, I think the, I just don't want to talk about corruption. No. Our mandate was, you know, given mandate to eradicate corruption. Eradicate uh, corruption. bring about accountability and responsibility. Exactly. Right. So give us, give us, this is only just two years, not mm. even uh, we are completing our two no, years. But there is a public perception that uh, the government of today, during the uh, election campaign, um, played the corruption card a lot and promised to bring uh, accountability and responsibility to the table. We acknowledge various things that this government has done, and it's just in case we th you think that we are being ungrateful, you know, the media freedom is there and so on and we don't have this white man syndrome anymore and it appears to be all right although there there are some um, berating of the of uh, the press going on from time to time but it's nothing like it was before we agree we understand that but the, there is a perception that the public have that this government isn't doing enough on, in terms of corruption. For us, people like to punish people immediately. Yes, this they, is what they feel. They, 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 they want but, instant retribution. Yes, but it's not that, you know. You, you have, have a nice to, way of saying it in, in, in the Buddhism. Uh, what, what do you, how do you say it? Instant retribution. <laughs> 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 All right, but but what about what about retribution? What about accountability? 
So why not? I mean, now at the moment we can, I mean, uh, already appointed uh, commissions. Yes. How many commissions now we have appointed? Give us only this is one year and eight months and and at same time hundred days we we had lot of uh, development uh, took place. Mm. So with all that we we only cannot go and tell people you know we came only to uh, er 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 eradicate uh, the corruptions. Right. The people uh, in the grassroots level and the masses are waiting you know. What are they saying? What are the people in your in your um, um, uh, Hewa Hattie electric. electric. What are they saying? What are they complaining to you about? They say, Madam, ma what? In my electorate, to tell you frankly, for the yeah. past 20 years, no development has taken place. Not a single industry in my electorate. Shocking for yes. James Taylor land. E exactly. And it's a tourist attracted uh, the uh, electorate. And uh, the land is for cultivation. So what do you like there? What do, what, do you, what, do you, what are the problems there? No, no, uh, no, infra jobs? no infrastructure development has taken place. To tell you frankly, even if you go tomorrow, yeah. there is no main road f uh, for me to uh, reach my electorate. No proper road to reach my electorate. So how, what are you doing? Are you lobbying the ministry? I am lobbying. Every Wednesday I am going door to door. I am lobbying. I have uh, I have written to the president uh, too, and I have written to prime minister too. Any, any, I mean, any joy? Of course, yes. They have uh, the the because there are now uh, central province, provincial council is there, and the provincial council under under provincial council there are some mm. development have to take place, and that has not happened. Mm -hmm. So, as a provincial council member, now it's my duty without you know saying no no to everybody everything. I have to uh, uh, fulfill these uh, necessaries and uh, 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 duties mm. towards my people. So I'm doing it. And um, there are seven others, uh, lady members of uh, the United National Party, who are in Parliament now. Um, will it? Uh, will uh, the next elections? Will it be more? Yes, of course. Including one yes. Miss Kongage. I'm, I'm trying my very best because I'm more than 25 years in uh, the politics. Right. More than 25 years. Um, my aim is to get into parliament because uh, I know what I can do in uh, uh, when I get back to parliament. Now, it's I, that is why I said I'm door to door, I'm walking. 40 years in parliament, uh, nearly. Um, age 68. Rani Vikram Singer. Is it time for him to... Uh, retire? No, I don't think. Do you think it's no, too No, because it? with you can't find the experienced politicians for us. You have to have Ranil Vikram Singh, is not only a local politician, he's an international politician. We have to have pull. That is why I said Ranil Vikram Singh's and Maitri Palasi Desena's collaboration. The 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 new uh, the government system is very much uh, the favorable to our country. Do you think that? in the handling by this government of various issues that some sometimes some of this handling uh, could have been done in, in a slightly different way yes i believe there are certain things everything is not go going right uh, yeah. for us i mean because that's the reality uh, yes we, we have to have little patience mm -hmm. and uh, even certain things when we complain it to the prime minister he always say look this has to happen like this you have to. I think uh, Maitripala Sirisen and Ranil Vikrama Singh is working very, uh, uh, very seriously. Mm. They, are, they are in very good understanding. Mm. They love the country. They love the people. So that is the main thing. Do you communicate some of the concerns that your people have to your leader? And the prime yes. Minister? Yes, I have. Does he I listen? have done. Of course, yes. He has listened and yeah. he has given me directions how to overcome these problems. Not only getting uh, government jobs, there are certain other things, private sector and distributing land and get the young people to uh, uh, get involved with uh, export development projects. Yes, yeah, these are the things I think uh, new development coming up. Have Even you ever spoken to him about the bond matter? The, the, the fallout? The, the bond. The bond matter is something beyond my control. We mm. have to, we have to actually, these things are in parliament level mm. and they have to sort it out. 
we but does it do you get people down there who say madam mukaddame no bank ke ho rakha mat pe la no don't they say that people on the grassroots level these are not the problems for them right for their problem is education health agriculture uh if they want to start a small uh, micro uh, uh, project business low interest uh, the the loan support right this kind of things but these things uh, we are not going to say that uh, we can just um, uh, ignore it no. but please take you know necessary people those who are involved with it don't try to put people into uh, a bad situation or people into trouble mm. people cannot pay out of their pocket any debts anymore indeed um chant mikonga it's been an absolute pleasure having you on newsline thank you very much and we look forward to welcoming you on our network at another time on another program perhaps thank you thank you faraz thank you giving it's me this opportunity it's thank a you and that's the way it is um from newsline we look forward to seeing you same time same place on monday morning take care god bless